Hey everyone, it's Thursday, August 17th, 2017, and it's time to go to work on music. It's been a great day so far, I'm in a really good place, and excited for a productive session. Going to hit some online classes as usual, update you guys with what I'm doing there, going to hit a quick drum practice, keep you guys updated, and uh, then going to hit the production front hard and just try to speed up this guitar solo I'm working on for the bridge section of my latest <coughs> tune. Oh, I've been sneezing so much today. Excuse me and um, just share my process. appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let's get right into the session. Alright, really good session overall. Um, definitely not as focused as it could have been. And that's two days in a row that I've felt that about my session. So now I'm starting to realize that the stuff I've got on my mind outside of music is just encroaching a little too much on the practice sessions. So that means I gotta just turn that stuff off. When it's time to work on music, I just shut everything else out. I go you know, as focused as possible on that and then I'm, I'm out. So that can be really, really difficult managing those commitments, but I've gotten a lot better at that in the last few years. So I'm really happy that I feel confident that I can just like draw the line there a little bit uh, more clearly. So I'll make sure that I keep up with that the next few days. Um, the time that I did use was productive. I got in on the online class front, learned a little bit more about my new marketing strategy for Facebook, um, just getting some more detailed information on that. Um, then I moved on to my um, drum practice, just kept that pretty light, and one of my uh, buddies on YouTube uh, was posted a really good superstition video the other day, so I kind of played along with that, because I was like, man, that's a really tough track to get the feel perfect on, like the, the fills, and st it's not that technically complicated, but at the same time, it's like really deep, how Stevie takes this very childlike approach to the drums, but then makes it work, you know, really makes it funky. Like that fill and that groove at the beginning of the song is a hook. I mean, that's, it sounds like a 12 year old is playing it, but it's like, that's his level of mastery. And I've always admired Stevie so much for the first, for everything. I mean, let's, let's be real <laughs> for everything. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun. It's interesting to imitate that as a player because it almost feels like I'm, tr I'm regressing and playing the part the way it's like playing the part wrong but when you listen to it you're like that's how it is that's how it goes it's that's where he's putting that note you know that's where the hi-hat goes that's where the snare goes and it's it's funny how if you play it too clean it sounds like it just doesn't sound right so it was like a deep thing it's like a deep pocket study you know a friend of mine always used to say, if you want to audition a bass player, um, make him play Superstition with you. Because <laughs> the bass line is just like one note the whole time. Oh my god, so good. But if you, but if you can make that groove, if you can make quarter, like whole notes, if you make whole notes groove, then you got something, man. Um, so that was fun. And... Um, I've been enjoying playing along with tracks in my drum practice recently. It's not something I've done a tremendous amount of, but uh, I want to start incorporating it more regularly because it's really, really fun and it just gets me exploring things in a different way. So um, that was great. Then I took a short break, did some reading out of my Recording Secrets book. Main takeaway from that for the day was um, just a small tip, but when you're doing takes, it can be a good idea to uh, slate the takes, which just means saying what the take is at the very beginning of the take, like, verbally. And that should be redundant if you're taking good notes in the session, which you always should be, but notes get lost sometimes. Sometimes on the back end you realize, like, oops, we had that thing in the wrong place or something like that. And so that's, like, a nice little fallback plan just in case. And the other thing that's good to do is before anyone arrives at the session, just um, record a quick take of what each microphone is and where it's placed in the session 
um, on each track just so you can piece that together later if you have to and just expose any faulty wiring that you might have done by accident. So I thought that was really cool. Um, small but valuable tip. Uh, and then got into the guitar solo, just worked on that. Uh, ran through it a couple times at the BPM I was working on yesterday. It was sounding pretty good. I was feeling pretty comfortable, so I bumped the speed up 5 BPM and then another 5 BPM. And that's where things started to break down a little bit. And um, when I'm working on parts, I really do like to go to that place. I was talking about this a couple days ago. I like to go to that place where I'm sort of grappling with it. It's not really sticking and then kind of back it off a little bit. Um, and the thing I was doing today was working through it and then finding the problem areas, like the trouble points of the solo. So what I did is I found a couple of those where I was like, this is the sticking point and then everything else is kind of flowing around that. And I just started working that bit you know, a little bit more over and over again. I'll probably slow it down 5 BPM tomorrow when I come back to it and then gradually build it up so that that piece is good and then I'll put it back into the whole solo. And as far as I understand with what deliberate practice is, which is the, the scientifically proven essentially most effective way to practice is you want to figure out where your weak spots are and then you really want to spend most of your session time grappling with those if not all of them. Um, so that can mean breaking things down, that can mean sometimes it's difficult to be honest with ourselves that something's not right or not perfect. It's like oh that's gonna take a lot of work so the brain kind of is like don't worry about it you know <laughs> gotta be careful with that that's that's a big no-no um, but we all do it you know so it's just good to catch ourselves and I catch myself doing it and just think like, nope, go back, fix that. So um, so yeah, that's where I'm at today. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are grind out there grinding towards your goals, enjoying the process. That's what I'm out here doing, just sharing my process. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. Till then. <laughs>